in thanking the Almighty Father, the God of heaven and earth, for the many graces, benefits, blessings, and favors that he has bestowed on our dear Nana Uchesribo from his birth to his ascension to the driving stool of Oyoko clan. The good Lord gave him a wonderfully great health and paternally led him through babyhood and infancy. He helped him to successfully go through his elementary school studies that landed him at Opokuwari Secondary School, which is named after one of the greatest kings of Asante, Katechie Opokuwari the first, the immediate successor of Opemsuo Osetutu the first. We hail the Lord for giving him a brilliant academic studentship, which easily earned him a place in the Kwame Nkrumah Tertiary Institution. Again, he sailed through university studies with the assistance of the Lord, in whom he trusted and on whom he relied. It was no surprise that from that university, Nano Tresrebo received easily one of the most prestigious academic accolades of Bachelor of Science in Engineering. We all stay be blessed. Like the great scholar of destiny that he was, instead of using his rare academic tool to earn money for himself, then I would just report was rather interested in using his own qualification for the benefit of his people. Thus, the Prevost Board can be likened to the great servant of the Lord, spoken of in scriptures in four beautiful poems in Isaiah chapters 40 to 56. This servant is the beloved of the Lord. God knew him. He was born before he was born. And God destined him to be the light of the nation. This servant was to suffer for his people to a point where he would accept the faith to be like a true lamb to be slaughtered for his people. This servant's role, which God destined the now Otis River to play for Dame Man, Asante Man, Ghana Man, and the world, was initially concretely expressed in his divinely instituted appointment as the overlord of the Dabin state. In short, we thank the Lord for choosing Nana Utrecht Report as the paramount chief of the Dabin traditional area 50 years ago. God has enabled him to live up to the expectation of who a good king should be and how to act in support of his subjects. We human beings are the most intelligent, freest, the noblest of the creatures on our planet. Yet, we are the most miserable, the most dependent, the young of an animal, the elephant, or the sheep, or the goat, gets up and walks about almost at the instant when he is born, it is born. It learns its habits and its behavior patterns 
instinctively, but not so the human being. The human being cannot survive without the care of his mother or father or any other human being. Without the meticulous care of these people, a human being cannot have a language, cannot eat, cannot drink. A human being will die in a matter of days after his birth if there is no other person to help him. So human beings must come together to form a community of intelligent beings seeking a common good, bonum commune, to achieve security, biological progress, abundance, physical, intellectual, and economic development, in short, to survive. When two or more people so assemble they need a leadership that will lead them on the path to the aim of their society. Again, survival, security, economic independence, and sociability. It is upon the performance of the leadership that the community depends for the realization of they are drawing questions. Why the leadership the affairs of the community to achieve the greatest possible benefit of life? The same leadership has to direct the community away from anything that is detrimental to its progress. The leadership helps to attain the greatest possible good and to avoid the greatest possible evil. Good leadership, good leadership makes laws that are good for the community, institutes punishment for those whose behavior is against the good of the society. And above all, laws surface for the community. For this to happen from time to time, immemorial cultures, societies, civilizations have adopted different ways of looking after the society called politics. And so we have empires, kingdoms, parliamentary democracy, caliphates, emirates, oligarchies, plutocracies, and so on. It was God who directed our people to go in for the type of governance that we are all used to, namely chieftains. Chieftains then is the God-given way in which we in Ghana traditionally practice politics. The chief acts at the three levels in Ashanti, at least, at the three levels of the society. At the level of the village or community, we have a chief who governs that community with the heads of the clans in that community. At the level of the Oman, we have a chief who governs the Oman for the heads of the villages. At the level of a sentiment, we have the Otufo who governs a sentiment for the different Amayini. The leaders all perform the same function for their respective communities of the village, or the Oman, or the kingdom, in the case of the Ashanti kingdom. For the Gabima, for example, the ruler is from the Oyoko clan of Gabin. 
The team has at least seven traditional functions to perform. He is first of all the religious leader of his people. Through such festivals as are there, he raises the community up in prayer to our spiritual overlord, Almighty God, and other spirits at regular intervals. And this is definitely the most important function that his chief should play. Secondly, the chief plays the military role for his people. He leaves his people to fight all kinds of aggression, internal or external, physical or psychological. Traditionally, the chief with his consultants and counselors or elders lay the rule of legislator. He makes rules and regulations to govern his people. He plays the role of the judiciary. The chief plays the function of the executive, seeing to it that different sections of the society are faithful to their obligations and enjoy their rights. The chief again should be one who plays a social role, giving his people the opportunity to enjoy life, to be sure of their security, and to live amicably with other members of the society. Last but not the least, the traditional chief, ideally, is the custodian of culture. Culture here is not to be interpreted as dancing and drumming and singing. But every aspect of life, entertainment, law, mannerism, art, etiquette, different institutions and so on, it deals with the whole area of the way of life of the people. The beloved, we thank God for giving us a chief who understands this triple rule of a chief as his people's priest, their military leader, legislator, judiciary, executive, father, friend, and cultural leader. Surely, I do not have to tell you, Jamin people, that Nana Utoos Rimbo is an epitome of the best in chieftaincy. It is not for me to repeat what you know better than I do. The projects of development he is engaged in the modernization of this township, his knowledgeability, his emphasis on hard work, the law for his people, the law for his culture, the law for sentiment, and the law he has for the nation. You know it well. Nano Trosibo is easily the model chief who prefers to serve his people rather than be saved by them. I describe him easily as the pace setter of my proper excellence for traditional rule. About 10 years ago, I had the occasion to write on traditional leadership. This is model and its usefulness in the Catholic standard. I had no hesitation whatsoever in naming Nana Utyosribo as the chief who is inimitable in the performance of his duty as a chief. I wonder, Dr. whether you read the article. 
We thank God that He has made the Nova Kyoshi Boy Chief who gives them the lie to by his performance to the opinion of so many people who think that chieftaincy has outlived his usefulness. He has rather by his life corroborated the view that the chief is as useful today as he was yesterday. Even though his traditional function has to be adapted to modern circumstances. At a time when godlessness has made nonsense of the rule of law, at a time when moral decadence of the worst type has entered into every fabric of our society, at a time when our behavior as human beings has made God regret that he created us. At all this time, the Nautilus River relies on the religious wisdom of his ancestors to rule God in mind. Yes, the chief is no longer going to fight another tribe or in another traditional area. But the enemy he has to confront is more dreadful than the enemy of old. He is challenged by the enemy of bribery and corruption, the enemy of political arrogance, deceit, machination, and intimidation, the enemy of increased tribalism and division. The reign of money, the reign of false honor, the reign of horror, ethnocentrism, the reign of power. Darcy knows this and tries to deal with it in his own inimitable way, quietly but effectively, from his little corner of Jabin. The chief no longer has last law for his people, but as a visionary leader like Darcy has his own ingenious way of effectively inspiring his people on the road to self-sufficiency. He is for his people the real peacemaker without the use of handcuffs, police, and prisons. He, is, he not only draws attention of government to his people's justifiable needs, he also does his best to make his people, under his leadership, a self as self-reliant as they can. That's the blow of your shameful thanks God for giving, for giving him the grace of being able to play the father, the mother, the guardian to his people, not with money, but with persuasive words, affability of character, and by example. When many chiefs are losing their respectability, the now we throw across the symbol is gaining more respect. He does not tell to learn for himself. He does not refuse to give land for the development of powers. He does not ask for compensation for monies given by his predecessors 80 years ago to build a school. He hates Kalam say he does not he, he does his best not to abuse the power of a chief. Above all, Almighty God, we thank you sincerely for giving us a chief who raises high the flag of Japan 
and Ghana. And the Catholic Church thanks you, Almighty God, for giving us the chief who raised the flag of the Catholic Church. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of Osiusri, the now Osiusri of the second, to the nation to serve as the chairman of the highest national advisory body, the Council of State. For 2472, the second thanks God for giving him a learned collaborator who has become easily the most reliable, often utilized representative. Above all, brothers and sisters of Jamin, I join you in blessing the Lord for giving you a leader that you are proud of. Nana Otuesribo wants nothing from you in return for his service to you, but your prayers. I promise you to join you in praying for Dasibre Otuesribo you are worthy, servant. That's it, Congratulations on your attainment of half a century on the Jamin stool. It is a golden jubilee. The word jubilee is from the Hebrew word yobel. Yobel is the horn of a ram. After every 49 years in the Jewish, on the Jewish calendar, the Jubel is sounded to announce the year of favor, Jubilee, the following year. This is a year in which the Lord commanded the Levitic, in Leviticus do not take advantage of each other. There will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed towards your brothers and sisters and towards the poor and the needy in the land. If one of your countrymen becomes poor among you, and says himself to you, do not make him work as a slave. Follow the decrees. Follow my degree, decrees. And be careful to obey my laws. And you will be you will live safely in the land. This is the year in which Jews took stock of their life, especially with regard to their relationship, with regard to the relationship between God and themselves. Where they realize that they have done their best, they are determined to do even better in the 50 years ahead. Where they realize that they have been lacking in something, they decide to amend their life. If we examine the reign of the Assemblee for two or three more for the past 50 years, there will be much to be happy about, much to be joyful about, much to be proud of, much to congratulate ourselves for. For this, we thank God. A critical examination, however, will surely reveal areas of challenges. Such a challenge is the political antagonism among people of the same Jabin area. Let us do something about it. There is no reason why, because somebody is MPP, and another person is NDC, and another person belongs to another party, they should be enemies. 
Another challenge will be the challenge of bribery and corruption, which I have already mentioned. We will meet challenge of crime, which results from poverty, which in turn is a result of laziness on the part of some of us. But above all, we will meet the challenge of juvenile delinquency, boys and girls, taking to drugs, engaging in immoral activities, which God does not approve. Jabe Mai Dwasiasa, Esieni Kajas Niaseda, Jabe Mai Maumo, Oba Omai Binya Dasebre, but you are three boys and one more than you are. The bay of one more day. As Santa Mandy was so what she and him. For two four said to the other view, who said to two other view. See, or some four pounds. One year of the two pounds. Ghana Mandy was it. What Prince said, Uber Yagana, a man a foot to four and in it. Brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Oh God, to whom every human power is subject, grant your servant that simply will choose three boys the second. A man in our Japan traditional area who is celebrating the 50th anniversary of his accession to the Japan school. Success in the exercise of his high office, so that revering you and serving you and striving to please you, he may constantly secure and preserve the people who have entrusted to his care. The freedom that comes from civil peace, love of the neighbor and justice. We pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I have a second. Distinguished gentlemen, and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, We, the members of the Eighth Council of State, are so excited to be here today in Japan to celebrate with our chairman his 50th year of his coronation. I think it's not often that in Ghana she's remained in the school for so long. But I have been an exceptional leader. Some of us have said with him on the Seventh Council, where we made him our chairman. And then the Eighth Council has also made him our chairman. It is not often that people have that kind of rare elevation, respect, and adoration. Nana is an exceptional leader, a real girl, a chief, well, I didn't want to say no equal because some would feel jealous about that. <laughs> but I think it is true all my colleagues will agree with me that he has been an exceptional leader. 
extremely hardworking. It's amazing to see him in his office sometimes, even when I get the job, just make sure that meetings and everything is correct or corrected, so that the following day we don't have to spend hours upon hours going over to correct them. Except that sometimes we use our brilliant professor, lady professor, who is become our unofficial editor. Banana has led us, and indeed, many can testify that of all the councils of states for the past 20 years or so, the current council has been an exceptional one. Not only because of the exceptional talent of individuals who are serving on it, but because of the leadership of Anna as chair that has made it exceptional. So we have come to be joyous with him, to celebrate with him, to adore him, to honor him and to show you, the citizens of Duabek, that you have truly a leader. A leader not only for Duabek, but a leader who is a leader for of Ghana. And for that reason, we've given away everything just to be sure that we're here. So that you will not think that you own him. We also own him. He's ours. He's our chairman. He's our leader. And so, for that reason, we decided to just make a small token of things for, to enable him to celebrate with all his distinguished guests, because when I heard the list of the names of all those who are here today, it's like, who is who in Ghana is here today? You name it, he's the governor of the center park. Is he the acting inspector general of police? Is he the chief justice of the whole republic of Ghana? Now you name it, they are here. Now, why will they all leave their work? Today is the working day, that's correct. And they all leave their work here to come to us. Why? Because of the individual. Because of the exceptional leader that all of us have. It is just adoration that has made all of us come here to celebrate with him. And so my colleagues and I have decided to donate for him to take care of his guests. We know he can afford it, but never mind. We love him, so we provide. That we have three cartons of the best champagne that France has ever produced. It is called Chateau Neuf de Pape. La Fiole de Pape. That means the ninth castle of the Pope. And this one is the feather of the Pope. A carton of schnapps, three cartons of variety of all the best champagne you can dream of, three cases of beer, three cases of Guinness, three cases of Fanta, three cases of malt, and ten parts of the aqua for those who need in water. That is also something that we will do with him in chambers. That one is not for hearing. But then, I go, I go, I go. May you reign forever. May you reign forever. Let your wisdom transcend. Let your strength be invigorated. And let joy fill you daily. Thank you and God bless you.
Emiasum Omaihe, our Sire President of the National House of Chiefs, and the Mr. Mopuna Mapotokakra. All protocols observed. I wish to express my warmest facilitations on behalf of the chiefs and people of Sabi and we also traditional area and that of the National House of Chiefs for giving me this opportunity to be part of this great event in the Gabin traditional area. Mr. Chairman, I wish to first of all congratulate Nana Otoos Report II on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of his instrument on the Gabin Street and also wish him well for the years ahead of him. It is crystal clear that for these past 50 years as the Paramount Chief of Gabin Traditional Area, Nana has contributed a lot to the social, economic and political development of Gabin in particular, Ashanti and Ghana as a whole. It is undisputed that the enviable achievements of this illustrious traditional ruler of our generation cannot be overemphasized. Personally, having worked closely with Nana Ojo Shibo II in the Council of State for the past few years, I can attest to his leadership style as the chairman of the council, coupled with his humble diplomatic human relations with other members and the general public. Indeed, it can be stated in simple, eloquent, and unequivocal language that the valuable contribution of Nana to the development and growth of the chief institution and the provision of traditional leadership in general has shaped the content, direction, and focus of chief administration. Without doubt, the chiefs, queen mothers, and all the numerous citizens of the area far and near are cognizant of his indelible achievements. Sure. Through his instrumentality and dynamism, he has managed to take traditional leadership in this country to a greater height. Sure. Moreover, through his talent, stewardship, and care for humanity, most of the aspirations of the youth in the quest for education and provision of jobs are being gradually met. Okay. Mr. Chairman, on this occasion of celebrating the Golden Jubilee anniversary of Nana Otoo Srimbo II on the throne, permit me to eulogize him for maintaining peace, security, and unity of the Gabin traditional area. Indeed, there is no other option available to our crop of generational chiefs than to emulate your role and leadership style. Nana Otoo Srimbo's contribution to the National House of Chiefs is also commendable. Sure. Nana became a member of the National House of Chiefs in 1975. That is a few years after his establishment, until 2001 when he left. Sure. His membership of the House spans over 25 years. Sure. Throughout those years, Nana served on various committees of the House, first as chairman and also as a member. Sure. Nana served as the chairman of the School Lands Committee of the National House of Chiefs from 1975 to 1992. Sure. Again, in 1979, Nana represented the National House of Chiefs on the Consultative Assembly that prepared the Constitution of the Fourth Republic. Sure. Between 1995 and 1998, Nana was once again selected to serve as a member of the School and Skins Land Committee of the National House of Chiefs. Sure. Finally, Nana served as a member of the Standing Committee of the National House of Chiefs between 1998 and 2001, when he finally left the House. It is worthy to mention that throughout his membership of the National House of Chiefs, he served as chairman of several judicial committees of the House that adjudicated cases. Sure. Mr. Chairman, before I conclude my message, can you permit me to make one request to Nana Otoo Shibwa II? That is, for him to lead the crusade for Parliament to reactivate Section 63D of the, of the Chieftaincy Amendment Bill to restore the lost power and authority of Nana. Long live Nana Otoo Shibwa II. 
Long live the traditional area. Long live Asantimai. Long live Ghana. Thank you very much. Hey, <laughs> On my news to dear woman, and yet to pa, near to pa, and my pa, to Tomoti, a mutiny about Mordi, a day and now to Stribo, Tosumino, our year of year, Udika, or your graduate, a word, that being a penaso, a demire. Thousand of years or Munana, or your mind, you know, Udika, the searcher of two for Pokua, a word, nineteen seventy one bra. Now, <laughs> Any English is a and to me, I'm a number of I'm a very good. And to you, then as I said, or take his eye this year, no. So, bro, I bet you have been as one as I know. Now, for the chairs, I can't remember your money. And if you or your woman cry, friend, you have been to government program. And no, am I in your job? You have been in hospital, market, circuit court, police station, you have been in police, you have been in OMS, share better processing plant. You are being municipal assembly, electricity, 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 fire, born water, and then asphalt rules. Then you got to all you do my dance here, Professor Adubwa, his pair, I in our TRC. And if I want, the son so that, no, 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 a cobar said, or some or two for Pokuari, or Tosumino, no two for or say to Tosumino, so who comes. And in Chigana for in our YouTube said, the Nedra being a Minister of Foreign Affairs for Asante Kingdom. The Sa Jumaje, a man would let her, we are seeing Asia, or Motor Safra or two for Nafe, a blue of our financial institutions, and the investor of Hodua, or Modia Bodia Hodua, a man would do for. Ah, who are in the United Kingdom, the United States of America, Scotland, Ethiopia, South Africa, Nigeria, Morocco, Libya, China, Germany, the West Indies, and Tanzania. She said, Precocet, yeah, you know, said, Precocet, a junior. The so a trek of a Jabin Jarisan Kansan Latino, not so much Antiman Latino, the career said, Ghana Mai, and I Ghana buying our draws from our own who said, the new same, the Jomode, the new Mount Roy Essence, and the Unsa, the Juma Dieli Kopier, Lands Commission, our Koye, member of Osanzo Gobua, National House of Chiefs, very fear Junum, Osanzo Ebuai, my woman, a friend of Constitution, I did. Yeridi Ghana Sono or County Chintim Sawan. Nasans of Chis. And also Sanso Bwai. Osanzo Bwai, Ghana Broadcasting Board. Sanson of Sanso Eco Bwai. Trade Fair Authority Board. Osanzo Yotitini Emma Confano Chitin Hospital. Ebe in future. Osanzo Baye Board Chairman. Ewa. St. Louis Secondary School. St. Louis Training College. Inigna in future in future. Edward Chino. Osano Oma Pene Kofo A Ojina Home and Zuya Juma and Fi and Wapi every two thousand and one, a copy two thousand and nine. The Juma Sua and Inti, a Koba said, President Kufado, on Sunya, a Kenya saw my penino, or fire a moka home out to the four. A bathroom for no chance, no, or moon you are poor year, and your own friend say, or multi training. In twenty sixteen, I do copy twenty twenty. 